Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how to work with the uh, Jetpack plugin. To be more specific what sort of options this plugin has. So first off you need to install it. I have it installed already. If you don't you can just go to uh, plugins, install or add new and uh, just uh, type in your plugin name which is in this case Jetpack. Hit on search plugins and here it is. So we just need to uh, install it by clicking install. In my case it says installed because like I said I already have it installed. Funny. Now um, let's just uh, go back to uh, the Jetpack option and uh, yeah once you install it you'll have this option right here. So you can just click on it and let's see what sort of uh, options and features it has. So first off it's uh, sharing. It allows you to share with the internet people uh, via Facebook, uh, Twitter and so on. So uh, you can actually configure it by going to uh, settings then select sharing and here um, you can just drag these options right here. For example email, dig, LinkedIn and so on. Then you can uh, specify that you want to show them on posts, pages and so on and just click save changes like this. Now you can just go to your uh, website, refresh your browser window and just scroll down. Here we go. So these are the options. Email, dig, LinkedIn. So exactly what we enabled. I'll just uh, turn it off and save my changes. Let's go back to uh, the main tab right here. The next option is uh, WordPress.com stats. Actually this feature allows you to uh, uh, show your stats using the, the interface from uh, WordPress.com. So uh, in order to be able to use it you need to first of all um, get connected to your WordPress.com account and in order to do that you need to have a WordPress.com account. If you don't just go to a WordPress.com and set it up. It'll take you like, I don't know, like a minute or two so it's real easy. Now once you have it installed and uh, configured you'll have this option site stats so I click on it to show you what it has and uh, as you can see you can see the, stat the stats, the statistics of your traffic, of your visitors and it's really uh, uh, convenient. Now let's go back and see the other options. Spelling and grammar. It usually happens that while you're creating a post or just writing something uh, you can just make mistakes and it happens. Stylistic or grammar mistakes, whatever. Spelling. And this uh, spelling and grammar plugin really comes in handy and uh, it highlights your errors and your mistakes and it's really easy to use it. I, I pretty much suck at uh, writing and spelling but this stuff hap happens to help me, to help me really good and uh, I'm happy with it. So it's called um, actually the the, uh, the service that is this, this plugin is using it's called uh, After the Deadline and you can click to uh, see what they have here. So that's basically the website of the service that is used by the uh, spelling and grammar plugin. So it's really useful. Next, Vault Press. This one, by the way, you can click on uh, Learn More uh, under each option, under each feature to see more info regarding that particular feature. So uh, Vault Press allows you to uh, actually uh, back up on a regular basis, like daily. It's really safe because you know you never know what's gonna happen to your blog or some hackers are gonna squeeze in or something. I don't know. Stuff happens. Um, next it's uh, Gravidar Hover Cards. Let's see how they work. So if, the, if you have them enabled and if uh, the user who left a comment on your blog has a gravatar, it'll work like this. Okay. Next, um, wp.me short links. 
they allow to uh, have short lengths and uh, you'll have this option in your add-in panel in the uh, post or page section of your add-in panel it will just say get short length it's really uh, useful when you're trying to uh, give someone a link and uh, it shouldn't be that uh, confusing or something you can just click on it click on this uh, get short link button and uh, give the link to the person or to the service whatever now short code embeds this feature allows you to embed uh, archives your blogs archives audio uh, stuff from blip tv daily motion dig flickr and so on so you see all the options here it's really handy next beautiful math um, this feature allows to uh, display uh, and actually design uh, mathematical expressions uh, so that they look cool in your uh, blog posts then extra sidebar widgets they allow you to uh, add a an RSS links widget a Twitter widget image widget not exactly sure how useful it is but anyway it's good to know that you have it and uh, last but not least the uh, enhanced distribution feature uh, which actually like you can see here allows you to automatically uh, take the great published content from your blog and just uh, make sure that uh, services like search engines uh, know that you got it so it helps you with uh, being indexed by search engines and it's very handy yeah that's a quick uh, overview of the um, options that you have with this plugin most likely I'll uh, create a more in detailed video and uh, blog post so uh, make sure to uh, visit webdc.com so thanks for watching have a good day